Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Sleepless Ninja. Um, so, now that my Zoom is rooted, let's put some ice cream sandwich on it. Um, of course, um, we're going to go with um, the Team EOS. Um, they're also the Team Time At. I mean, they've just been making fantastic um, AOSPs for everyone. So let's go um, check it out. So, of course, now that we're rooted in everything, we can do everything from our Zoom. We don't need another computer. Um, just using it through recovery. It's really, really nice. And Team EOS has made everything very simple. So, big props to them. One thing is this is Nightly's, which means it's an active development. It's uh, fairly stable um, from what I'm reading and tried out myself. And um, But every night they put a build up um, for you to download pretty much and um, new features might be there, new bugs, less bugs. So um, just so that you're aware, it's not a finished product in any means. It's an active production. So uh, what you want to do um, on your Zoom, if you type in Team EOS 4G XDA, you can pretty much get a direct link there, um, unless you already have Zoom development um, bookmarked on the XDA forums like I do. Um, it's a great website, so if you're not on there already, please go there. Um, it's just a wonderful community, especially um, Team EOS here. They're fantastic. They've really, really changed um, and made the Zoom so much better. Not that it wasn't on its own, but they really, really try um, and have succeeded at just improving the overall quality um, tremendously. So there's two things that you need. One itself is the um, AOSP. Um, this uh, can be downloaded right here from that website uh, in our, the forum post. Um, basically what it takes you to is those nightly builds and has a long list of them, the most recent being on the bottom. And feel free to look at the forum post because, um, especially the most recent, because if it's a newer release nightly. Um, it might be um, interesting to know if it's good, if it's bad, if it's stable. So that might depend um, and make you want to choose one over the other. Um, from reading, 36 sounds pretty good. So we're just going to watch it and see that um, download right now on the Zoom. And we want to get one more thing. The Google Apps themselves are not packaged with um, this yet. So we need to actually download the Google Apps and then install them afterwards. So again, um, there's uh, multiple builds. So you just want to find one of the uh, ones that suits you. Uh, we're going to go all the way up to the top here. Or, well, you see whether most people have downloaded 4.0.3 version 10.4 right there so we're gonna go with that one and then this will begin to download and of course this is already assuming that you're rooted so you're gonna be able to do all of this and you have the, the correct recovery um, Solonar's recovery installed if you followed my universal zoom rooting guide this is for you. Now for everyone else, um, just actually let's 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 go back why this is downloading. Um, and let's go to Android development. Like I said, XDA is a wonderful site. And um, they Team EOS is not just working on a 4G version. So I am emphasized, do not use this one if you don't have a 4G zoom. Um, 4G emphasis on the Verizon network 4G. But you can see they have many. Team EOS, European 3G GSM, there's the 4G, there's the Wi-Fi, and many other things for many other people. So look at this and uh, you might find something that you didn't know and um, be able to modify the Zoom in your liking, which I think is the best thing about this uh, Zoom um, and really the Android platform is a really great community with high customization. So it's going to take a while. So we're just going to fast forward through this. 
Okay, with that completed, we now want to move these files over to the SD card. For those who have not never done this before, um, we basically want to look at um, these two files right here. You basically want to copy, and then we want to move up into the file hierarchy until you can see external one. This is the SD card, and you want to paste into the SD card. Yes, your internal memory is actually labeled SD card, and it's not the SD card itself. Kind of confusing. It's the way that Honeycomb is set up, um, and you're just going to have to remember that, and without fail, this will work. Again, we're going to go back um, to the SD card, back to the downloads where we downloaded it, and now we're going to copy this one. and move up the hierarchy um, to external one which is the SD card and we're gonna paste it with those on the SD card we can now go into recovery and install it so um, we're gonna go the foolproof way there's a couple ways to do this but the the absolute foolproof way to you go into recovery is to get a recovery app that just boots into recovery simple as that um, you can also do recovery apps that do recovery while on screen but I never do that and I'm not gonna change <laughs> so um, ROM manager uh, does a pretty good job at just booting into recovery. Um, that's really the only thing I use it for. Um, compatibility mode. More of that later. And so let's just OK. And now we just want to re reboot into recovery. All we're doing is providing an easy way. Super user request. You need root obviously for this to work. And here we go, you'll see the dual core, and we're going to be in recovery very soon. Make sure it's sonars, it's important, especially for the zoom. So, now we want to install those files, but it is very important and noted that you should factory reset if you're coming from the honeycomb. If you already have an ice cream sandwich nightly, um, it, it, they don't say that you have to do this, but if you're coming from Honeycomb or another OS definitely do a factory reset since I'm coming from root it doesn't really matter anyways now we want to install a zip from the SD card and then we want to choose the zip from the SD card so we want to go down and we want to find the stingray um, 36, that was the nightly that version that we chose. Select it and install it. And this will probably take a while. or not okay and that's the ice cream sandwich and now let's uh, choose a zip from the SD card and install the Google Apps okay with that let's reboot and see what the ending result is One thing I'd like to say is, you know, whenever you're booting something up for the first time um, after installing it, it's going to take more time. So please don't make this be your judgment on whether this is a fast boot or a slow boot. First time always takes much, much, much longer. Going to fast forward it through it again. All right, so we can see we're at the home screen and for the most part it looks pretty similar um, I mean this transition appears to be much more smooth and fast 
Um, you can kind of see the new um, icons here at the bottom. The menu is a little bit, I would say, cleaner. I really like the new um, font. It's uh, very crisp. Um, we have the apps here. Everything, for the most part, seems very nice, smooth, and buttery. We go into the settings. The settings panel's a little cleaner. I like that. Um, we'll go to the browser. We'll see. This is on 3G right now, so bear that in mind. It's handling the JavaScript a little bit better, you know, scrolling through. It's a little bit smoother, it's loading the page a little bit faster. Um, so overall, it looks pretty good, but you can see when you're clicking on something, that it almost has that highlight highlight mode to it. I don't know if you can see that on the on the screen, but that's kind of cool. Um, so there's a lot of things that I need to explore still, and um, I can talk about them in detail if you have any questions. You know, there's this new um, kind of Google folder pop out and things like that, but um, overall, it looks promising. I'm gonna go have fun and play. And um, get right on and install Ice Cream Sandwich if you already haven't beaten me to it. All right, thank you, everyone. Have a great one. Um, big props, of course, always. Team EOS um, and the XDA forums. And um, hey, like me on Facebook if you wish. Or you can follow me on YouTube. And um, ask me any questions, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Um, I know I have not been uh, good recently, um, especially to those posting on YouTube. Be, be, but be obstinate. Also ask on uh, my Facebook uh, wall. That's probably a better way to get me. Um, have a great one. Thank you, everyone.